Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Guy and this is the first episode of our new series in which we are going to create a 3D renderer from scratch using uh, raw OpenGL. So if you don't know what OpenGL is, it is basically a graphics API that is uh, very low level. It is for basically handling uh, graphics cards uh, because uh, different graphics cards have different uh, kind of ways of doing things. But OpenGL defines a specification that all graphics cards can follow and then we can uh, write code that can run anywhere so uh, OpenGL is basically like that and we are gonna use OpenGL to create our own 3D renderer and this time we are going to use modern OpenGL not uh, the old OpenGL and we'll learn what the difference is between our two as we go along so uh, before we get started with that let's go ahead and first uh, get started with the basic setup of our pro project because OpenGL is a graphics API all it knows is how to draw stuff like triangles and boxes and stuff like that and uh, as far as the window creation goes then that is uh, something that we need to do on our own now on this channel we have been using sfml for quite a while so we are going to use sfml in this series as well and uh, sfml works perfectly with opengl and you can use any other graphics library that you like it's not necessary that you use sfml so for now let's get started creating the basic window so what I am going to do for this is that you can see I have set my configuration to x86 because I have got the 32-bit version of SFML and I am going to make this application as 32-bit because we are not using any 64-bit features so we should make it 32-bit so that it can run on both architectures. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to remove everything that we have got here, uh, the default hello world program and instead we are going to include sfml slash window.hbp. Now if you don't have sfml you can download it from their website but the best way to do it is to use VC, VC package. VC package is a package manager uh, for windows. If you have got uh, Linux or something then you can use whatever package manager your distro got <laughs> but uh, if you are using windows you can use VC package and um, you can use it to is install sfml and it will automatically set all of the directories and stuff and you won't have to worry about that part so I'd recommend that you install VC package and uh, what we are going to do is after including that now VC package will automatically uh, uh, tell Visual Studio that we need to get files from this folder so we can just include sfml slash window dead HPP once we have installed sfml from VC package and then we can uh, use this to create a window we are not going to use any of the graphic functionalities of sfml since that we are going to handle on our own sfml only provides 2d graphics so we are going to not do that so we are going to create a window called window and for the constructor we, f we are going to use uh, an overload of a constructor that requires a video mode and what a video mode is it's basically has two arguments so you can see video mode uh, has two arguments a width a height and a bits per pixel bits per pixel we will leave it at uh, the default of 32 and width and height are going to be 1200 and 900 respectively and uh, the next argument is the title which we are going to say 3d opengl and we'll leave the rest of the arguments at the default values because uh, while it uh, if i were to open this up uh, uh, if i were to open up the constructor uh, you can see that uh, we have got uh, like a string here and a style and some context settings as well but what we are going to do is we are just going to say video mode and the title and leave the style and context settings at default and uh, that's awesome that should create the window now let's go ahead and uh, f uh, we'll need to actually uh, run a loop so what that loop will do is that we'll keep doing that thing uh, until the window is while the window is open so until the user presses the close button what we'll do is uh, we'll keep running that particular loop so what we're going to do inside that loop we'll find out in a second what we are going to do is we're going to create a while loop that runs while the window is open so the window dot is open is a function that tells us whether the window is open or not and uh, while the window is open what we want to do is first of all we need to get all events and process any events that have occurred you might say that uh, currently we are not using any events so let's just not process them but if you don't then the system will uh, register your window as uh, uh, unresponsive and it will um, cause it to not work so what we will need to do is we will need to create an object of type sf colon colon event and call it event and we are going to use this initializer list syntax to initialize it uh, to the default thing whatever it is and we are going to go ahead and say while window dot poll event and we are going to say event now this poll event returns to if there is another event left and this event we have got here uh, it basically uh, we pass a reference so this takes a reference you can see it takes a reference to an event and it modifies our event to contain whatever we have got and then what we are going to do is we are going to check if the event dot type is equal to the closed event 
which means that the window closed even fast closed then what we are going to do is we are just going to close the window and these are the oh, this is the only event that we are going to process uh, of course we want the user to be able to close the window when he presses the close button so we will need to implement this event and currently we don't need any other events now after that uh, we can uh, what we need to do uh, for each iteration of the loop is we first need to clear the screen and then we need to draw cool stuff to the screen and then we need to display it to the screen and uh, that's all pretty easy to do actually we don't need to do it in this loop uh, that's a mistake uh, we need to do it in the main loop so after we are done processing events we are going to uh, clear the screen then draw cool stuff to the screen and then we are going to display that screen so uh, we will handle these two using OpenGL and as far as displaying is concerned you just need to say uh, window dot uh, display for example and uh, yeah that should uh, basically display it and uh, these two are uh, now if we were using a render window that uh, we'll, we'll have functions for drawing and clearing as well but that's only 2d things and we want to render 3d therefore we are gonna not use that but instead clear the screen and draw cool stuff these two are gonna be done uh, like uh, by opengl commands so let's get started using opengl commands to do that so in order to use OpenGL what we are going to do is we are going to include sfml slash opengl dot hpp which is a header file uh, that will include uh, the open the correct OpenGL headers regardless of your system because on different operating systems the OpenGL headers are located at different locations so this is going to detect that automatically and uh, the second thing is that uh, uh, we need to clear the screen so for clearing the screen we can use an OpenGL function and OpenGL has got a number of functions in it quite obviously but uh, every OpenGL function follows the same pattern so the idea is that um, it has got the word GL followed by the actual name of the function and uh, if, it, if it has got some specific uh, arguments then those are put after the name for uh, clearing the screen there are no specific arguments or uh, argument variations uh, the reason uh, uh, OpenGL does not have uh, operator overloading or function overloading sorry so it does not have like for example if there is a function that requires uh, say three floats and another function that requires three doubles then these are implemented as different functions with different suffixes so currently the clearing function uh, does not have any suffixes but it does have the GL prefix like all OpenGL functions so what we do is we do GL clear uh, which is a function for clearing the screen this function requires only one argument which you can see is a GL bit field mask which is just uh, uh, like a type def for an unsigned integer and what that means is that we need to provide it with some uh, a bit field is essentially like uh, a bunch of bits uh, like uh, for example in binary counting so you got a bunch of bits and those are ORed together to kind of represent their like on and off flags so these are like flags and uh, we represent uh, we use that to represent and what we want to clear currently we only want to clear the color so we'll say gl underscore color underscore buffer underscore bit which is the actual mm, uh, you know constant defined in the OpenGL header so all OpenGL constants have got a capital GL and an uh, underscore after that we have got their name and uh, function start with small GL followed by their name so that's pretty awesome and uh, as far as drawing is concerned we'll leave that out for now let's just run this and the VC package will actually take care of uh, telling Visual Studio to link the appropriate libraries as well and uh, you can of course do that manually if you like to and you can see we have got a window here we can move it around and we can maximize it and we can uh, uh, kind of hide it and then we can also close it and that works because our we are pulling the events and our window is responding now currently we are only getting a black color but we can actually make OpenGL clear the screen with a specific color for that we need to set the color that it uh, clears the screen with using gl clear color for that we can just go and say gl clear color and uh, what we do is we say uh, it uh, asks us for red blue and green values and also alpha so for red I pass 1 and for green I pass 1 as well these are floats and for blue 0 and for alpha 1 so red and green means that it will be a yellow color and uh, you all actually only need to do this once if this is changing every frame then you can do it every frame but since we are only going to set the color uh, to yellow once in the beginning we can just set that but this clearing and drawing needs to be done every frame so let's go ahead and run that and see whether it works or not and what you should see is that it does work so uh, you can see that uh, 
yeah we do get a yellow screen so that's pretty awesome and uh, this is pretty much it for this video uh, we created a basic window in it and learned the basics of OpenGL and in the next video we'll get started drawing actual stuff on the screen and uh, stay tuned for that I'll see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe as well and bye